Hello and welcome to this first video in the PowerShell scripting series. In this series we'll cover a number of topics related to PowerShell, including PowerShell variables, learning about PowerShell commandlets and modules, we will create our own functions, and eventually we'll put together a couple of scripts that can help us perform everyday admin tasks such as searching remote computers for services that are running or services that are not running, and a host of other things. Some of the prerequisites that just uh, just really the desire to learn PowerShell is the only must-have in this course. The couple nice-to-haves might be uh, previous command line experience with the regular command prompt or even some basic PowerShell would be super helpful of course and some previous scripting experience if you're familiar with uh, any software design concepts like uh, control flow or loops some of those will come in handy but really not necessary we'll kind of cover what the things do and some of uh, why and how they do them and uh, plenty of demonstration and videos or uh, and other materials I should say not some of the series goals we'll be trying to go over the first one is we will learn how to use PowerShell and perform tasks and script with PowerShell create scripts really um, we'll learn how to use variables across our uh, across different commands and across uh, scripts super powerful when we can pass information between different commands and between different pieces of our script with variables we'll learn about PowerShell modules uh, modules contain a series of commandlets or functions they are the basis of many of the components that make PowerShell so versatile and so powerful really I mean uh, we'll learn uh, learn PowerShell objects and some of the basics of the .NET framework and .NET using object oriented programming allows us to basically perform functionality perform functions which are called methods on the um, object and the PowerShell objects that are returned we can do plenty of things with them we're going to get into it but we can basically we can pull out any of the information that's available in that function we can perform other actions on it like count the amount of lines in it or take all the text and make it uppercase all kinds of cool stuff we'll get into all of that of course as we go on again we'll create some functions scripts and modules in this course we'll learn how to do all of those things and we'll learn the pro some of the programming concepts that transcend PowerShell you can be taken into Python or PHP any of these that really the only difference will be the syntax but everything else is just about the same as far as how you would go about building a script and how you would um, handle errors and interface with the user to get input perform some functionality on it plenty of cool stuff to do we'll go ahead and get right on into it getting started in PowerShell we have commandlets they are the commands that are typed in they're also kind of functions they are lightweight and typically perform an action and return a dotnet object to the next command in the pipeline the pipeline is how is the method that PowerShell uses to take data and objects from the source to the requester basically we're us sitting at a command prompt we want to get the services in a computer or on on a certain computer what it's going to do is it's going to go and query for the services and it's going to put those services in the pipeline and inside the pipeline we can move them to another command via the pipe command uh, will uh, or the pipe key I should say we'll uh, go ahead and see how that functions a little bit later and a couple of examples of the uh, the commandlets in PowerShell are get service we just talked about it provides the services on a computer we'll go and get a list of them from the kernel and 
get child item is uh, retri it retrieves a list of the contents in a directory the files or other folders in a directory that is uh, kind of like dir if you're familiar with the command prompt that is the dir command or if you're familiar with uh, Linux it's the ls command it will list out and you can use both of those we'll get into that but you can use both of those in PowerShell as well as aliases really cool stuff there and uh, the last example is rename computer where we can uh, rename the local or remote computer and that needs to be run from an elevated command prompt we get help from the get dash help command and then we'll type in the we would need to type in the command uh, that we're looking for help on so if we were looking for help on get child item we would type in get help space or get dash help space get dash child item and that will provide all the information about help or about the child item that is available in the help system we can we can get more information or update our help with the command update dash help and that will go on out to the internet sometimes there are errors where uh, some of the commandlets cannot be retrieved and in, that, in those cases a lot of times we'll just have to if you need information on one of those it's rare that they're very popular they're widely used the um the commands that don't have help but um if you were to run into that situation you could always go to the Microsoft PowerShell documentation at the link in the description below. You can find plenty of uh, helpful information there. There are some what I like to refer to as Microsoft hieroglyphics. They're in their um, in their documentation. They have symbols and characters and obfuscate um, what is actually going on with the command. We'll go through some of the pitfalls and some of the uh, syntax of those help documents as we go along because they end up being super useful once you understand how they go. In upcoming videos, we'll go ahead and cover the basics of opening and utilizing PowerShell, and we'll get into the aforementioned methods and script creating. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to get notifications on upcoming videos as they're released, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon. And we'll see you in the next video.